What's up, dude in the truck? What's up, dude in even bigger truck? Big truck! Wee green light! How's it going, y'all? Anderson here. And I'm gonna go, oh, shirt. Sure. What the fuck? Anyway. Yeah, I'm trying to, what's up? Blah, 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 words. Hi. Um, yeah. So, um, I don't really have anything too particular that I want to talk about this time. I'm trying out some new uh, camera angles, you know, because a um, couple of you guys suggested that I ought to switch things up a little bit. And so I'm trying out different camera angles, trying out different placement for the microphone. Hopefully this one will turn out a little bit better. Oh, speaking of you guys, big props and thank you for all the support the past two videos. Especially on the first one, that one got a huge response. Second one, not so much, but, you know, in all fairness, the second one kind of sucked, I'll admit it. But that's alright. It can only get better. So check it out. I got some new gloves. I don't necessarily need to be wearing these right now because, you know, I'm just commuting. But I'm trying to break them in because I actually have a group ride coming up this weekend. It's going to be my first group ride ever. So, ow. Fuck. Bump. Anyway, yeah. Um, first group ride this weekend. It's going to be kind of interesting because it's actually with a bunch of Harley guys. So, let me, let me first start off in saying the area that I'm in doesn't really have much for a street bike scene. There's street bikes everywhere, but they're all like friggin' Squidwards. And uh, they, they don't really have their own little group. So as a result, I just, you know, I don't really kind of ride with my own thing. I have, I have a group of friends that I work with and we all ride. And no, I'm actually gonna be riding, all of us are gonna be riding in the same group ride together. But the group ride we signed up for, it's this, um, it's this ride for, it's like this October, what is it called? Pink October Harley ride, I think is what it's called. And um, it's a couple, couple miles away from here. And I'm gonna get in with them, you know, I figure, what the hell, a group ride? Even if it's with a bunch of Harleys, all bikes are welcome, so I'm down. Make sure I don't get hit. So yeah, a couple of street bikes riding with some Harley guys. This will be fun. But you know, at the same time, a bike rider is a bike rider. I gotta have true respect for that. I'm looking forward to that. I guess we're gonna be going up into the hills a little bit. Um, I know like the entire ride, well, <laughs> the ride itself is in one direction. I then have to ride my ass back later. But I think, you know, round trip's gonna be like a hundred or so miles. So it'll be a good time. You know, I like keeping, hey, what's up, speed racer? Go, speed racer, go, go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the real California traffic. Anyway, while we're stuck here in traffic and I'm showing off my brand new gloves again, I wanna talk at y'all a little bit about motorcycle riding gear in particular my personal philosophy in motorcycle riding gear now i know each state has its own different set of rules but here uh helmets are required but nothing else and so as a result you'll usually see a bunch of people just squidding it hardcore wearing just the helmet and usually like some dumpy old helmet too just like bargain basement and then nothing else that chick was just looking at me He's like look at that crazy motherfucker he's just sitting there talking to himself anyway so I personally the way I see it is I gotta keep this sexy thing looking sexy so I don't want to go falling down ruining it at all and so I opt for wearing every single piece of gear that I can get my hands on now, obviously, I'm not wearing, like, three jackets, two pairs of pants, some steel boots, and a bubble. But I am, you know, I got, got my gloves. I actually have a few pairs of gloves. Got my jacket, ECE-proofed helmet, padded jeans, and some riding shoes. Now, it isn't to say that if I were to go, like, let's say I wanted to go ride out to Yosemite or... Right up to Oregon or something like that. No, I wouldn't be wearing this. I'd 
you know, if, I, if I'm going anywhere near, let me get around this guy. If I'm going anywhere near where my risks of dying are greater, i.e. twisties. Ah, shit. Ugh. Yeah, red light camera, I don't want to get that ticket. But yeah, if I'm going anywhere near something twisty, something with drops, something where I'm probably going to be driving a little more lively, I'm not wearing this. In fact, the stuff that I would want to wear, I don't own currently. A cool thing about California is that you have so many racetracks, natural and man-made. I would definitely want leathers for that. And I'm saving up, don't don't you worry. I'm gonna get myself a sweet piece of leather. But, you know, with just my current kit right now, I mean, yeah, I might go up into the hills, but I'm not gonna go like bombing canyons and doing track days and just mesh because this stuff wouldn't stand up at all. And with that said, I wanna know what your takes are I mean, obviously everything I just said is my own personal opinion, so your your feelings will more than likely differ. But I just want to know what you think. What what kind of gear do you wear? What kind of gear do you recommend for riders? Let me know. I am definitely a fan of keeping blogs quick and simple. This is so nice. Though, what if I actually have something important to say? It's a nice big old pick-em-up truck. By nice, I mean I would never buy one.